Today we are talking about the best, and I say, and I mean, and I tell you, the best color correction, color grading program that also just happens to be free. Hey guys, one by Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again with another banger. I'm gonna start saying that in every video, guys. Welcome back, we got another banger for you guys. That's what I'm gonna start saying. I'm not gonna say that. Alright, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get started today. It's called Dark Table. Dark Table is pretty much what I just said, color correction, color grading. Uh, and it's absolutely free, 100%, super easy to install as well. Uh, I believe it's on Mac. I know it's on Windows and Linux. I don't, I can't remember if it's on Mac, but I, I will link down in the description as I always do. And what we're going to do is we're going to get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just open up our folder here and I'm just going to, I'm just going to drag in this image that, that I have right here, which is this picture off of pixels.com, my uh, number, well, my second favorite website other than YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm gonna just drag that in and as you can see it's already in our library here So we can go ahead and edit this by just double clicking it um, and it opens right on up This image is 4,000 by like 6,000 or, or something um, There's a lot of really weird lines. What are these lines? Oh my god. It must be snowing. It must be raining I don't know what's going on here. There's a woman walking down the street. She's got red hair if you didn't notice um, And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna downsize this because I don't need this in that little arrow right there get rid of that and uh, we're gonna go ahead and over on the left hand side we have a couple of things I don't want to talk about everything because this is gonna bog it down make it all long and weird I want to tell you guys the basics of what you guys need to know so First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the right hand side And as you can see we have some things over here and if I click through these you can see we have this is favorites And then you know we have some other things over here um, But the one you want the one you're gonna want to go to is this which is the basic group and now you can hit this to you know Turn everything on, on, on only the active ones only ones we have on which is nothing uh, but I'm you're gonna hit this basic group right here and this basic group is gonna be pretty much every single thing that we need to make this image look Different or cool like let's say this image look bad. It doesn't look bad the way that it is But let's say I want to look different Let's say I want to look dark and gloomy or like I put some kind of Instagram filter on it because I'm you know hashtag um, hip Yeah, um, so I'm gonna go first of all to contrast contrast brightness saturation and we can change on the contrast and brightness and saturation obviously but the good thing about this is is that it doesn't actually distort the image like a lot of contrast and brightness does in a lot of different applications. So if I bump the contrast up, if I grab this and bump the, no, the contrast, if I bump the contrast up, you can see it makes everything more contrasty, but it doesn't really make everything, you know, oh, this doesn't look good, but it doesn't make everything distorted is what I mean. So it's not like having weird artifacts or weird like phasing or something like that it's just more contrasty obviously this looks terrible so let's just dial that down a bit let's say i want it to look a little bit more uh foggy like i said so we'll just add a little bit more contrast a little bit more washed out now it looks like an instagram filter look at this isn't that incredible um we have a uh brightness slider here and this brightness slider we're gonna just slide this on up and as you can see if i slide this up it gets it gets kind of bright um, if I slide it down and gets dark, you know, that's how light works. Um, but we're going to just put that around maybe right there. So maybe, maybe maybe a little bit more contrast. Maybe a little tiny bit. Eh, no, we'll leave it about right there. I like that. I like this, I like this vibe. It feels kind of rainy. feels really whatever you want to say. It looks rainy, foggy, misty. I like it. It looks like it's early in the morning or, you know, it's just bad weather. Um, we're going to just go to highlights and shadows and highlights. Now we can just downsize these by just clicking them again. Shadows and highlights. And we can do the same thing here. So we can bump up the shadow. We can darken the shadow. We can make it, we can make it, the shadows darker, which is nice. We don't want to go too much though. Or we can make the shadows brighter. Um, I'm going to leave that maybe around where it was, which I believe was right there. We can also turn the highlights up and down the same exact way, which is pretty cool. I think I actually, look at that. See, the reason, this is why this program is cool, because the reason it, it does so well with the highlights and shadows is because, as you can see, if I, if I drop this down too much, you can see it actually has a little bit of a phasing, like a fuzz on that. It's like a little bit soft-edged, so it doesn't actually have those hard distortions that I was talking about. It doesn't look uh, pixely or grainy or whatever you want to say, because it has that nice fade like very slow fuzz on there which is very nice so i'm gonna actually bump the highlights up i want this guy to be kind of bright actually no i don't i actually want it to be like that so we'll do something around there that's like negative 30 ish you know and then we can also do soften width and then change the radius which is what i was just talking about i'll leave that back around where it was um the same thing with base curve and all these different things we have here to create some nice 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 images and the cool thing is is i were to, if i were to go back and want to undo some stuff i can undo, i can go to the history here and then go to original right so this is what we started with 
Now, because I want to show you a before and after, I'm going to go and hit, go to open, open snapshots, and I'm going to click take snapshot. Now, this is, says original. Ignore this one right here. This is one that I was working on earlier. Um, we're going to go ahead and, um, and go back to base curve. So this is what we did to it. So obviously, this looks, you know, really washed out, really faded. I'm doing this on purpose, though. Like, let's say you want it to look like this instead of the way that it looked. What we have now is we have the ability to do, we didn't even get to half these yet. We have crop and rotation, orientation, exposure, uh, just all of these things down here. And there's also, I believe there's there's more, yeah, there's more through here. Uh, monochrome, we have the actual color correction, which is very awesome. So you can just play around with this, get some nice, nice tones in there. It's kind of like a LUT, if you know what a LUT is in, in uh, video editing terms. It's very, very nice. So you kind of just pop one of these bad boys on here and it just, the tone that you're looking for is super easy to achieve here. Let's say we were going for like something like this. Looks more like Seattle. Yep. I don't know why it just looks like Seattle to me now. Um, this this looks like what does this look like? This is like Kansas. Kansas. Hundred percent. This is like Kansas. I don't know. What I, yep. Just looks like Kansas to me. You know. This looks like just looks like a bunch of red. That's what it looks like. Anyway, uh, obviously you can't do it too much because it's just gonna start looking crazy unless you're doing something very stylistic. But um, I would just go for something kind of kind of cold because I want it to be the kind of cold. So we're just going to go off this direction kind of like that. I really, really like the way that looks. Now, this is what we have now. And this is what we started with. We can actually go back and slide this back and forth so you can see that is absolutely completely different. Now, this is obviously very clean, very clear, very crisp. Um, and this is very stylistic, obviously. But this is the tone that I'm going for rather than the type of picture that I'm going for. We can, also, we can also go up and down as well, which is a very, very cool. Um, yeah, that's just that's just very awesome. The red in her hair is now like also very soft. It just really, this makes just everything look softer, which is really cool. I also kind of want to just really quickly maybe do a little bit of desaturation. This monochrome might work really nice as well. I've actually not played with this monochrome yet. Oh, I see. This is very interesting. So let me bump the highlights up. Doesn't seem to do much. Oh, okay, I like this. So this is like the different kinds of grayscale that we're going to have here. So we also have different blend modes. I have not played around with this one, so I just wanted to see what this was real quick. That's very cool. I'll play with mom with that later. Um, we might do something else in this this program later on as well, but I just want to do like a quick little walkthrough. Uh, lens correction and sharpen as well. You can do some sharp, put some sharpen on there. This this image does not need to be sharpened, so I'm not going to do that. Vignette. I did play with this earlier. I forgot I wanted to do this. So we have a little bit of vignette that we can play around. Let me undo the snapshot, actually. Um, there we go. Just just click the same one you clicked before. So I had original, so I can do the so I can show it. And then if I just click it again, it just gets rid of that. All right, a little bit of vignette here, not too much. Just make it a little bit smaller, and we'll also turn the brightness. There it is, the brightness up so the dark is not that dark because that looks super weird and amateurish. Um, we're just gonna lessen that, and we look good. A little bit of green as well, maybe just a little tiny bit. Oh, that's no, that's not a tiny bit. That's not a that's a, that's way more than a tiny bit. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. I like that. Wait. Wait, there we go. I like that. That's a nice amount of grain right there. But that's going to be it for today. Oh, this is very cool as well. Let me do this real quick. Okay, so this is graduated density. So it's kind of like light. And, and I'll explain in a second. So if I turn the rotation, I can kind of make it look like this part, the part, it's like a gradient, essentially. So this part down here is is less dark than this up here. This is lighter. And it's, it's very cool. I really enjoy this quite a bit. We can turn that up a little bit, turn it down not that much, obviously. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Let's go back and look at the original once again. As you can see, we have a completely different vibe, completely different feeling. This is very dark, very sad, very emotional. This is very bright and maybe possibly happy. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.